I recently received a question about bounds detection where the character was going off the screen. Uh, this is just a guy from the community, Bugra Kavder. And I'm pretty sympathetic with this type of problem, right? Because he's trying pretty hard um, and he's a bit isolated. Um, he even posted his code here. And unfortunately, he didn't give me the graphics. I don't have the exact uh, sprite sheet that he's using, but I think when he originally did it, the, the character was not staying on the screen. So let's take a look at his code and see uh, if we can help this guy out. So I received a question on a GitHub comment and uh, uh, this guy uh, he posted the entire code base here right uh, without the assets so we're gonna have to take a guess at the assets but let's just copy it uh, might have been better if he put uh, it up on github or something and then maybe put the his username on github as well as the name of the repo but We'll try to power through like this. So I'm going to create a new flame project. Flutter create. We'll just create it for Linux so we can test it first. Linux. Let's see. Uh, I think the guy's name is uh, Cavder. Cavder. Bounds test. just pasted his code from the YouTube comment in here. Uh, he didn't paste the import, so that's why there's a bunch of these things here, but I'm gonna do control dot, and this one's from the Flame package. The game widget is also from Flame game, and the sprite component is uh, from the Flame components here. Basic palette is from the flame palette package, and we are done. It's not going to run because he has these assets here. So let's create our assets folder. And I don't have his precise assets, so I'm just going to go by the name and see what he's got. So I'm gonna, my pubspec.yaml, let's add the images. And I'll get a couple of images and drop it in there. Uh, in his code, he has something called New York and something called Ghost. So I will get a couple of images. I'm not using a sprite animation sheet, but I don't think this is actually his problem and uh, okay so to make it because I don't have this full animation sheet I'm going to change it into a, a sprite component So we'll go ghost test equals sprite component from image and we call it the image ghost image. And we'll add the ghost test here. And in here 
I'm going to change it to ghost text. Ghost test. Ghost test. Ghost test. Ghost test. <coughs> and uh, this flipping here, uh, there is a uh, typo here, but let's run it and see what we got. To change the position of ghost test. Okay, there's a small typo in his. Uh, so if it's uh, if it's flipped, then we'll set it to false, and we'll set this one to true. Okay, so the left bounds is working, the top bounds is working, and the right bounds is working. And it's going off the screen on the bottom, but let's uh, let's check it out here. Ghost test dot height. Okay. Oh, that looks pretty good. Bounds seem to be working. And he set his ghost at 120 by 120 here. And he set our initial position of, let's just copy it right here. 500 and 250. Yeah, I think, I think it's a kind of interesting concept, right? There's some type of ghost in New York City, but the bounds are working here. I'll try to animate the sprite and see what happens. I'll put this code up in GitHub. Maybe it'll help out other people too. I'm going to use this ghost sprite sheet from Open Game Art by the artist Chili Games here. And uh, it looks like it's on the public domain. So everything should be good. So let's grab this sheet. Oh, maybe I'll just put in my README. So we can find it again. Call this flame bounds, maybe flame world bounds demo. Okay, so let's 
maybe change the background first. So I've now called it Manhattan. Manhattan. And the ghost is a little more difficult to see, but uh, I think it's pretty good. You know, it's not clear what his uh, theme was. So maybe the ghost looks a little bit more realistic in his uh, in his game. So this is a 15 cell animation sheet and the texture size is, what do I say, um, is it 300 by 200? Yeah, 300 by 200. And we probably want to have a bit closer, maybe 150 by 100. We'll try to add in the goats. First, I'll change the image that's loading from the ghost to the ghost sheet. And the ghost sheet is the sprite animation sheet right here. Okay, they need to put the sprites on a single line. So instead of redoing the code, I think I'll just change the sprite sheet. So this is not best practice, but maybe it'll work for this test. I'll just create a super long sprite sheet. Uh, I think you should change the sheet uh, size if you actually do this in your game, but I just wanna get this test working here. Figure the grid on this one too. Now I have one really long sprite sheet that I'm going to save into my file. And now the sprites kind of animation looks pretty slow. Oh wait. Point maybe zero five. Or maybe it's a little bit too fast here. I have to change the movement. So we change it to ghost, right?
just print out the position of the ghost. After I reloaded it, it seems to be working. There you go. Oops. Okay, but I think it's working, so maybe I'll load it up. So in the debug console, the, the first one is the size, the limit of the screen here. And the second value is the uh, position of the sprite. I'm going to try it on Android, and then I'll load it up. Okay, so this is on a Pixel 4a emulator and the bounds do seem to work here. Performance seems quite good, I'm sure. So again, thanks to Bugra Kavdir uh, for posting his question and providing the inspiration. I don't have his actual graphics here for the ghost image, uh, but he did mention this ghost image and uh, New York for the background. So it's kind of provide a little bit of inspiration for the game, right? Where he took the Charlie the Chicken, but he has some type of ghost in New York concept, which is pretty cool. Yeah. He mentions New York here. so. I'm very curious as to what this game looks like. Actually just playing around with uh, this little tutorial, I'm getting other ideas for a game. Um, but I hope he finishes his game and posts uh, you know, maybe some type of information or way we can see his game in the future, because I think it's a pretty interesting concept. Okay, have a great day. We're back to Charlie the Chicken.